Hello, I'm Dr. Yu Ling Li, an education professor, and in this video, we'll discuss mindset theory developed by Carol Dweck. We'll explore how her research is helpful for teaching and learning in the classroom, and links to her research is included in the video description. Carol Dweck is an American psychologist who holds the Lewis and Virginia Eaton Professorship of Psychology at Stanford University. Her research centers on motivation and mindset. Her mindset theory is around the idea that individuals possess either a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. Quote, In the fixed mindset, everything is about the outcome. If you fail or if you're not the best, it's all been wasted. The growth mindset allows people to value what they're doing regardless of the outcome. They're tackling problems, charting new courses, working on important issues. Maybe they haven't found the cure for cancer, but the search was deeply meaningful. A fixed mindset is characterized by the belief that our abilities and intelligence are fixed traits, and we cannot improve upon them significantly. On the other hand, a growth mindset is the belief that our abilities can be developed through dedication, effort, and resilience. Dweck's research has shown that individuals with a growth mindset tends to embrace challenges, persist in the face of obstacles, and view failures as opportunities for growth. They believe that their abilities can be cultivated and improved over time. In contrast, those with a fixed mindset may shy away from challenges, fear failure, and have a learned helplessness where they believe that their abilities are limited. Although Dweck's theory is widely acclaimed, it has been misunderstood by some. One common misconception is that a growth mindset implies that everyone can achieve anything simply by having the right mindset. However, Dweck emphasizes that effort and effective strategies are essential for growth alongside the belief in the potential for improvement. Another misunderstanding is that praising effort alone is sufficient. While praising effort is crucial, Dweck cautions against praising effort without acknowledging the specific strategies and progress made. This ensures that learners develop a deeper understanding of how their effort and strategies contribute to their growth. Now that we have a solid understanding of Dweck's mindset theory, let's explore how it can be applied in the classroom. Application 1. Creating a growth-friendly environment. Teachers can foster a growth mindset by creating an environment that encourages risk-taking, embraces mistakes as opportunities for learning, and promotes a sense of effort leading to progress. This can be done through classroom discussions, individual goal setting, and highlighting the importance of perseverance. Application 2. Providing effective feedback with appropriate praise. Some have misunderstood growth mindset as just praising effort. Instead, appropriate praise entails giving effective feedback. Teachers can provide specific praise and feedback that focuses not only on effort, but also on the strategies employed and the progress made. This helps students understand that their effort and strategies directly impact their learning outcomes. Application 3 teaching the power of yet. Introducing the concept of yet can transform how students perceive challenges and setbacks. Encourage students to add yet to the end of their sentences when faced with difficulties, indicating that they may not have mastered a concept or skill yet. This simple word shift instills the belief that growth and improvement are achievable with time and effort. Similarly, Teachers can incorporate this YET criteria in assessment. Grading can include elements for process, persistence, and improvement over time. Carol Dweck's mindset theory is a powerful tool for transforming teaching and learning. By understanding the difference between fixed and growth mindsets, avoiding common misconceptions, and implementing the theory in the classroom, educators can empower students to embrace challenges, persist through obstacles, and achieve their full potential. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.